Hi all, we are here to talk about running a large session in the virtual classroom. Unfortunately, a regular virtual classroom session only supports up to 250 people total. Students, presenters, everybody. So if we want to have more than 250 people, we have to choose a setting to do that. And it does limit some features. So what I do is go to create a session. I'd call whatever I want. I can do guest access if I want. I also can specify the start and end time. Now, unfortunately, a large session cannot exceed 24 hours. It also cannot repeat. But let's go into settings. As always, I recommend turning off a few settings, but we want to choose the option to a large scale session. Allow over 250 people. This allows up to 500 people. However, it does disable a lot of options. You can see participant permissions have now been turned off. So participants are not going to be able to use audio, video, or draw on whiteboard and files. And actually, it turns off the chat even initially. You can go in the room and turn on the chat. It's also worth noting that you can't use breakout rooms in a large session. We also obviously can't do this in the course room since the course room's always there. Well, remember, it can't be longer than 24 hours, so the course room doesn't work for a large session. We have to create a session for this. But as I said, when you go into the room, assuming it's running, you can go in and enable chat again within the session settings. Now, while we wait for this load, one thing I want to emphasize is you generally don't want to be trying to choose on the fly if you're having a large session, because that will not work. If I go down into the session settings, Within the purple icon near the bottom right, click the My Settings area, go down to Session Settings. I can enable chat again, but you cannot choose to make a large session once a session started. You have to choose to enable this option before the session actually starts. Not only that, you can't go back and change your mind. If you try to disable a large session after it started, people will still be limited. They still won't be able to use things like audio, video, or draw on whiteboards. So again, unfortunately, the session is more limited. You'd have to actually promote someone to a presenter to allow them to use audio, video, or draw on whiteboard files, or of course, moderator. But hopefully this helps.